We're still at the Bosch Tools booth because we can't leave. There's, <laughs> there's more stuff to look at. There's all kind of cool stuff here. And Anastasia is gonna talk to us about their impact driver technology. What do you got? All right. Hi everyone, so here I am showing our brand new mid-torque impact wrench. It is 330 foot-pounds of max tightening torque, giving 590 foot-pounds max breakaway torque. So this compact tool packs a huge punch. So with impact wrenches, it's really about user flexibility and tailoring the power to the application. So to allow for that flexibility, we have three speed settings straight on the tool, and then we also have specific modes. So mode A, is for metal bolts and mode B is for wooden screws. What that allows is for the tool to slow down as the fastener is getting closer to the workpiece, allowing for more user depth control in fastening. And then mode B allows for auto stop, so it senses when the fastener is close to the workpiece and shuts the tool off to prevent overdriving. Awesome. awesome. So what do you? So you have the two different modes there. Do you do you do anything for? novice users like myself where the best thing I do is round the head off of the screw when I'm, yeah, trying, when yeah, I'm trying to put it in. Yeah, so that is a good question. So the auto slowdown, as I mentioned, you can slow or it slows the tool down so then you are not overdriving it. But then to add to that, this is one of our first tools that comes connected straight out of the box. So say that you're a little bit uneasy and you want even more control than what that provides, you can dial it even further to slow down even more or to stop earlier. Really? So okay. then that way you're not stripping it. Awesome, awesome. So you can you can dial it in for experts all the way down to novices like me. I appreciate that. So, I mean, you had to have had some type of uh, interface or input from the customers out in the field. Um, and I'm told that you're out in the field all the time. So yes, kind of exactly. describe to our, our listeners here what Bosch does to really get the input of the end user and then implement that into their new technology. Yeah. So, as you mentioned, it is my job to be on the job site with the workers and speaking to like safety curve managers, so really rounding out our knowledge base. And what we do is we watch their application, we talk to them to see what they're struggling with and what they like and don't like, how it can be improved. And then from there, we create prototypes and have the users test it. Awesome, awesome. So you actually bring prototypes out into the field. What What's that cycle like um, from uh, input that you're getting on the job site, and I'm sure you do market research, so you guys get uh, an idea for an initiative to change a tool or create a new tool. You go through the R&D process, you take it out to the field. What What's the timeline of that like usually? Yeah, that's a good question. So it's very variable depending on how in-depth the technology is, but the timeline could be turning around quick prototypes from three months, modifying certain things down to about a year. Awesome, awesome, very cool. So yeah, let me let me use this thing. Yeah, <laughs> give it a try. So this one is with this fastener. You can do that one as well. All right. If I, if I can say anything about this, it's so smooth. Exactly. You, you don't yeah. feel that recoil in your arm like you would, especially with something as powerful as this, with a powerful battery on it. With all that, with all that power and torque, you, you don't feel it in your forearm at all. Exactly. That is, that is definitely one, one takeaway that I would give to this part. Great. All right, guys, I don't know if they're gonna kick me out or not. We might find some other stuff to look at here at the Bosch Tools booth, but keep it locked here on the Add 10 Gallons Concrete Podcast for all the cool stuff we see out here at World of Concrete.